and hello. The uh, salubrious soundings of um, South End um, Arena, South End High Street, uh, in on the New Year. Happy New Year to you all, and Happy New Year, and Happy um, Happy New Year, and Happy uh, rest of the year as well. We don't want you just to have a Happy New Year. We want you to build yourself up, get ready for the New Year uh, on coming. Now, why am I here? Hey, hey. Am I here for a good time? Huh? Oh, is it? Is it breakfast and, um, oh dear, what have we got here? What have we got here? And qu'est-ce que say? They might say, right now, remember I said to you about the EU, EA phenomena of the police, police vehicles in Essex. It's stupid, I know. But look, EU, see? And it's usually that. It's usually EU or EA. Now, this is not a double yellow line. This is a single yellow line, I believe, denoting um, denoting uh, a bus stopping area. Now, we are outside the times of the bus stopping areas. So even though this is an infraction, I'm not going to pull them up at this moment because I have a friend that I wish you to meet. And by his own admission, he's not the best beggar in Southend, but he is the most consistent. And his name is a Matty B, we're going to call him, for his, for his privacy and security. Are you all right, mate? All right? Careful, careful, careful. Don't get uh, into trouble with his... Well, you saw what happened there, didn't you? Well, I'm just saying... I just want to keep an eye on her. There she goes. Now, Matty has been um, approached by some two young individuals, females, really fine females, which made me laugh my head off almost because, like, he pulled to wait very long. Um, somebody has taken some, uh, has been asked to leave. He's now been more than asked to leave. They're pushing him. The, uh, he's not happy. We will try and get close, but not too close, whereby my camera ends up getting spanked. Honestly, he had like a load of girls, but this guy's still not happy with his treatment tonight. He would like um, some reanalysis of the up shot, uh, which has been... You bring this dickhead here, I'm just asking the reason. That's the idea. No, I don't Bruh. need to do that. Why are you doing that? I don't need to give you a reason. No, give me a reason. You've already yes. been given a reason. You give me a reason. The reason is what he should do is pull him up on this infraction here. Then he'd have him on the back foot, wouldn't he? He should watch auditing. There's, yes, there's a lot of um, double talk here. Right, we go, we're going to look through the window. Isn't this clever? Isn't it clever? <laughs> you see, if he if he knew auditing, all he could do is pull up this infraction, uh, a non-emergency vehicle parked up on a on a on the yellow lines. So we just go through the window. Look at this. Look at this. Last chance. Last chance. Look, last chance. Or he's nicked. He's got one chance. There's two left. He's under arrest. He's nicked. He's, he's happily nicked. For reason, give me a reason. I'm gonna fucking give you a reason. Oh, we just gave you a reason. Bro. Well, these are the dangers of alcohol. Wrong. Can really. The only reason I done wrong. There you go. That's what they wanted, bro. He's got a bit of a hunchback, that one, isn't he? That, that cop, bro. Look at his back. Look, sticking right up there. Look, look at that. Look at that. It's Marilda. It's Marilda the films. What's he got under there? Is that? Is he? Is he cross-dressing? So this man is under arrest for. Um, well, he dropped his keys. Oh, there hasn't been given a reason yet, so this should be interesting. Now, officer, what's he been arrested for? Officer, what are you arresting him for? Uh, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't give your hands down, bro. Yeah, take records, well, what you got? You got to give you. You got to give you a reason why he's yeah, arresting you. Yeah? Yeah, I, oh, I didn't hear it, sir. Come on, put your hands. Come on. Yeah, you're taking. No, come on, bro. It's gonna work, man. It's gonna work. Uh, I've been blocked out by uh, by, by Officer Breakfast. I've called him. He's had his breakfast, so he's been arrested. I presume for public disorder. Um, 
it's a night in the cells followed by 80 quid sign uh, 80 quid fine which i doubt he will challenge is it still 80 quid for public disorder i'm not sure but he is nicked um it, his night is all over um despite the infraction you see if he knew auditing he could just pull them up he could have just pulled them up on the infraction here because it's not a big thing i'm not even going to bother i'm not even going to bother but um parking on they're, they're, they're like old yellow lines so we go back to the incident and um he's now i thought he was already restrained to be honest with you when i went to approach him because i don't want he is volatile he is shouting i suspect he may have even been drinking tonight or partaking in something else which can let you stay <laughs> yes uh, there may be uh, an accelerant in his system who knows we'll do a quick poke around the corner look poke now, now i can't see through the viewfinder at this stage they're all off for a session there's only two boys two boys and five girls so they're, they're having a good time i've got a busy evening but um we're going to go back over again to the action and these three girls here have asked matty who by his self proclaimed he is the greatest beggar of them all in south end there he is and he's been a, he's already he's had girls all over him tonight let's be honest about no 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 nothing. right and, he, and they have been all over it and they have actually uh, 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 despondent to take their clothes off if matthew can get them stuff you know the stuff i'm talking about but um he's been led away and he's not going to get de-arrested he's too uh, far gone he said too much he's done too much and um that has now justified the inordinate inordinate uh, police presence tonight i don't it wasn't here a couple of weeks ago um it's now getting close towards uh, the standing around in short skirts freezing their cells off dodge and i suppose it does come down to the way that they're interacted with you know like i just saw someone and the girl looked like she was being restrained by the male but um he said he's aware of them i did make him aware of that but um as far as i know they're just standing on the corner and um this continues at uh moo moo even at this time what's the time now it's late but this black this girl i don't know which one to, which one's causing the more more problems well or the boy all i can say is they are both lashed she's going absolutely she's going mental hard to get it's hard to get uh, the, the old bill are very heavy but she is going mental mental there are loads and loads of police down the road Quite frankly, I'm surprised I'm not showing any interest. I swear to God he was beating her up. What the hell? She's on the deck. Literally about 20 old bill down there, about 10 feet away. And they've, they've sort of tied each other out. I think she's freaking out as much as anyone. Oh my God, nowhere to go, eh? Tell you what, you'll go blind. No, that's our fence. Look, yeah, look, look, where are they going? Where are they going? Nah, nah, pee. Okay. Now, there has been a challenge made by the man with the dog. Oh, and that guy there. Alright, mate. He's not alright. He's. Right? Yep. Had a good night, yeah, as usual. Don't film, yeah? Who said I'm filming? I haven't given you film. I'm not filming, mate. Get the camera away from you. What do you mean? Alright, I'm pointing it away from you. Yeah, that's because you're in public, mate. Yeah, because I'm doing it for your safety, bro. Because, because, because you're too drunk and you can't catch me. Right, is that, that good enough? Look, I'm not, I'm not. I dare you. There you go, you're into travel lodge. Go indoors then. <laughs> what? Go indoors? And then I can't film you, can I? How do you know I'm filming? Do I look like I'm filming? Go on then. What young guy? I ain't filmed the young guy. 
Ed, he, he's calling you a young guy. He ain't young. He don't say he's young. He ain't a boy. Who says I'm filming you? I can see your phone, bro. Ah. Can't really stop. No, you can't. You can't. You can't see full stop, bro. You're, you're... Why don't you just go indoors? Why don't you just go indoors, bro? Better, easy, easy fix. But you can tell the police if you want. You tell the police. Why don't you just go indoors? How do you know I'm filming? But how do you know I'm filming? I don't know, mate. I don't know. You should go on the Atkins diet, mate. And then, like, yeah, I'd be worried. I'd be worried then. Huh? I don't need your permission. You can go indoors. Your privacy, your privacy is your concern, not mine. And you're not allowed to film me without my fucking consent. In public, yes, I am. No, you're not. Of course, I am. No, you're not. But if you went indoors, I wouldn't. The law. Yeah, I do know it pretty well, mate. The law, yeah. Then. The law is. Now, how do you know I'm filming it though? But I can tell by the phone you're filming me. What? Come near with that phone and I'll fucking smash oh, I don't think so, do you? Do you, fake? Smash your face wow. Happy Christmas, mate. Happy New Year. Oh, don't film me, innit? Oh, here he goes, look. Here he goes. Don't yeah. Fucking yeah. Move, innit? yeah, go on, go on. Don't fucking film me, innit? But who asked you to does tell this, me? Show your phone. Right, right, okay. Show your fucking look, this phone. Guy. Look, this guy. Show your phone, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. He's filming phone, bro. Hey, bro. I saw his phone. He's accusing me of filming again. It's cool, man. It's cool. Wow, wow. Um, I was just keeping an eye on these two people over here because it's worrying me, yeah? And he's going, and he come over and started to get I don't know. I was just a bit concerned about the pair of them. Uh, I haven't come from anywhere. What do you mean? I've come from South East. Because I was, I was, oh, I spoke to the guy with the beard, right? Oh. Not here, but like oh, these yeah. two over there, they, they've settled down now, oh, right? But I was just keeping a watching eye because they seem to be fighting, right? No, yeah, they're over there. So I was filming them, and then this character came out of the hotel and came up to me and went, "Right, I'm going to go and tell the police because you're filming." So I tried to say to him that it's public; you can, it's not a problem. I said to him, "Why don't you just go in?" And he was going, why are you filming? Why are you filming? Nah, no, 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 I don't think so. I've just done what you do. But if I wanted to, I would, if I wanted to. But I'm not, it's only because I don't want it. Look, no, he was about to go into the hotel, so I don't understand why he's come out of the hotel to have a go. Doesn't make sense, does it? Just go indoors, you know, I can't film. You're not going to check your Yeah, yeah. But you, you've heard of the activity auditing, surely? You have heard of it? Yeah. Bless you. No, um, if necessary, yeah, well, if necessary, if they've got a sign up that's breaking the law, mind you, mind yeah. it, if the police station was to have a sign up, yeah, yeah, I can, but like, hang on, it's all about standing outside police stations. We don't, not for no reason. If the police station had a blue sign up, are you from Southend? Yeah, right, I'm not going to ask you that now, but I don't need to, but um, in Southend. Right, but I'm just giving you a bit of intel, yeah? Right. In South End uh, front desk, they've got a sign up, haven't they? Say no filming in this area. That sign up, that is going to elicit questions, of course. No, it's a bit of fence bouncing. It's been a quiet night, isn't it? It's been alright. Not saying the keyword yet. No, 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 alright, sorry. Alright, yeah, you don't want to say it's a quiet night. But no, that blue sign is going to elicit people coming to the station. Look, that lady seemed concerned about people standing outside the station. Which? I'm I just don't want to get no, no, I mean, I'm fully grown now. If a car's coming, I mean, actually, I can see the car, the next car's not for two and a half minutes, right? So, so all right. But, but I'm just going to a colleague to accept my, to, like, have a side of this. Can I, can I get something through to you? Yeah, I don't want to bring it in, right? Yeah, right. There's a blue sign in South End P Station. It's a bit rude not to be looking at someone that's talking to you, isn't it? You don't? Yeah, so um, I think I pressed the wrong button there, but we're going to go and further talk to this WPC who thinks it's uh, acceptable. Excuse me, madam, can I just take your name and number, please? You said if I have to uh, engage with you, I'm not. I don't want really you coming near me. Um, yes, you do have to engage with me. I've asked you a civil question, sir. Sergeant, no? Oh, you've got a gang badge on, that's not going to help, is it? 
Um, madam, can I ask you your name and number and what station you came out of, please? 97, Mail, South End. Thank you, thank you. No, you may go away. We've got a police purpose to it. Yeah, okay, okay. Then take them somewhere private. Yeah, I won't get you. I won't get you. I won't get the members of the public. No. But she was just rude. She was just really rude to me. She was just really rude. I didn't care. That's, that's recording. Look. Right. And now, look. It said to me. It said to me like I've got to move. Same as same. Same difference. But different. No, I don't like. It, it could be worse. It, it could be worse. It should be better. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is that what? Just well, they're being in the van right up to the. What the hell? This is interesting. Uh, well, I've got to watch my back here. I've got to watch my back. There's a lot of pissed people standing there, ready to clock me one if. Uh, don't forget uh, Mr. Atkins' diet. I don't know why I thought he was the Atkins diet. That guy's still looking for his for his daughter. Now, what's this? What's this going on down here? Look, the. Uh, The orange lights have appeared, and, and I don't know why. What's it doing? They need a warrant. They need a warrant. I've got a fucking family in bed, bro. This geezer, this geezer comes from Peterborough, and the police have taken his car keys without your consent, right? Without his consent. He is drunk. He is drunk. He claims to be waiting for someone, so they could be waiting for someone to take over. Do you hear that girl said? <laughs> so, um, that geezer's keys are... Where did Matty go? Well, you've got to watch the back here, man. No, Matty's not here. Well, I hope it's all right. I think a healthy, uh, a healthy outcome from the... Uh, what was a difficult situation so that other guy i think they're protecting him from himself because he's obviously lashed and everybody's a bit tired i'm waiting for someone to say we had a good night you've had a good night but yeah up to now the point is look how look how the laws differ depending on the time of day that guy's had his car keys over there he's they're taking his car keys Look, he's walking off after him, look, saying, look, give me my car keys back. Someone's coming to pick me off, he's saying. No, that, we know that's not true, but... Still in Southend. Um, yeah, I've just nearly been attacked for, for walking past. Um, but obviously, it being the time and the place. Um, yeah, basically, people feel it's fine to attack if they suspect... You may be filming them, and uh, they turn incredibly uh, um, Jamaican. I don't know what that's all about, the Jamaican bit. So I'm going to put the phone. Yeah, so I just had some geezer. He was trying to take me. Um, right, there you go. Um, so, so I've tried to lower uh, lower stuff down because I honestly, these guys will smack you straight off. He started leaking it after me down the street. For, for, I don't know why. I don't know who he is or what. I wouldn't mind finding out why he's doing it. <laughs> Across, um, yeah, yeah, we are still filming, uh, but uh, yeah, the guy just come over. He came after me with a like, spitting sawdust and he went past. It's called Nazi's Kitchen, no, Kazi's Kitchen, K A Z I, which ironically means I think Iranian. I think it's Iranian because an unknown fact about the uh, Aryan. Race. Oh yeah. There's two looking for a way home. Is that Matty? No, it's not Matty. Is it? I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to be walking 
like a pigeon. Look, there's that geezer in that white coat. I think that's the one. Oh, shite. I turned it out. What's happened? What happened? Yeah, that geezer in the white coat. Look, he's trying to get, he's still trying to get behind me. What the hell? Now, is that Matty there? Matty! No, that's not Matty. Matty! No, he's not. Matty only worn, was, uh, well, only wears torn clothing. I don't think I've ever seen him in uh, brand new clothing. But there it is. Kazi's chicken. It's not Nazi. So is it, so it Katsi? I don't know. We'll never know. But what we will know is that it is South End. And it is the New Year. And it is the arse end of South End in the New Year. <laughs> it's not a nice place to be. It's dangerous. The filming laws, in fact, the laws full stop are altered dramatically. Um, I've just seen, uh, for example, I've just seen a police officer uh, take someone's keys from their car against their will. He was bitterly complaining, um, but he was drunk, and I do think they were actually protecting him from himself, to be honest with you. So we'll leave that. It's all good. But um, it does make me laugh when you've got these like that trying to run after you. Especially when I've got some back to move. But even without the wheels. You're not, not, not going to catch me. If you do catch me, you're going to get knocked out. You've got 16 nights. You're bothering. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. You know me. So we will just make our way into the corner before we run. They don't look like trouble, but... Uh, this is south end of the world. south end of the arse. Does it work? Hey! Alright. I was worried. Worried about you. Yeah. I've, right. I, well, I, even I've been attacked a couple of times, you know what I mean? No, I'm alright. Yeah, yeah, I do. That guy started on me though. Yeah, I got a couple of fags, yeah. Trunk him off. Oh, what? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, get your girls, you know. Yeah, you can, well, give, yeah. You can, yeah. No. That's from you, man. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Oh. Wow! Where have all these people come from? Oh my god! I looked down here about 10 minutes ago and there was no one here. He's getting everywhere. Oh, Officer Breakfast, he can't be the same one. There's no way that a man of that size could get from A to B. But we don't know what, to, he just looks bloody angry. It's mad, isn't it? You've got to look, it's New Year's Eve, a uh, New Year's Day. It's South End. It's um, a doity and dangerous place to be. You have to, I've, you have to look at every single person with the express intent that they're about to attack um matty pigeon is fine he's 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 gone home so as he said as he very honestly said he's outside uh kentucky fried chicken south in high street it's an address it's an address they took it actually they didn't take it it was outside mr pangs or nothing so everyone's departing the area now and without incident so just to anyone at this stage even with the rosin around it really is quite a dangerous place to be so let's just work our way through it's just bad isn't it because you're in london or something if you're in uh, in london or something i've really got to keep my uh, peripheral vision open here because uh if i don't they will attack and i don't want that this guy that guy that guy in the uh that guy in the the armband on, sort of wavedy babedies. I mean, this case is taken up on the quite a glass bottle. And he's then pushed her, he pushed her, and then uh, that's yeah, I'll say how the law changes. It depends where you are at what time, what doesn't it? Do? You see, like this little dude's got behind me there, didn't he? Look, he was definitely creeping me, that geezer, isn't it? So, who does he come from? He comes from over there somewhere. Honestly, you've got to keep your, keep your wits about your ear, innit? So they're all walking down, they're going towards the chicken house where the guy, the beat wagon's done, they're done for the night. <laughs> I mean, this is when you're, they're needed, not when everyone's in the club. They got, have they got a package? No. No, the wagon has been, it's gone home empty and they old Bill on their way home. Uh, now that everyone's come out, they're going home. Brilliant. Genius. Bad, the way, oh god, I can't do it, but this is like, it's too much. I've got to keep looking every single way. Oh, and it's just too much, you know? Oh god, a lot of chanda down there. So that's, 
a sign of the t return to the old times for Southend. You know, the more chanda, <laughs> the more we're back to a working Southend evening. I mean, down that way, it was really quite dangerous actually. Uh, some guy suspected. Some guy was like, accusing me. So we'll watch this little bit of a <sighs> interpolicing <laughs> out in the high street, but they're safe enough. My goodness. If you even looked at them, they'd, uh, they'd scream. So, so we'll, we'll watch this little bit of interaction. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything at the moment, but um, we'll all enjoy watching it later. It is South End. It is New Year's Day. It's a bit wobbly, as you'd expect. On. At least I haven't got to watch me back quite so much now. But uh, a noticeable, <laughs> a noticeable lack of um, chanda, chanda patches, <laughs> which is very disappointing. Southend judges its success, I think, on the the amount of chanda um, found outside the uh, premises. But I believe that the tax on alcoholic produce has bitten home tonight. And while there are definitely people under the influence. I think they're off. They've left this guy on his own. They're going over to do a bit of a checkup, and this guy's now going to turn around and he's off his nuts. So I'm not. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want the grief. And there's also his mate as well. Right, so I don't want the grief. I don't want him getting upset. The South End welcomes happy people. Yeah, what? So they can rob them, isn't it? Look at this. Look at this. Look, this is like South End Council will probably claim this is part of their decorations. Look, South End welcomes happy people. Yeah, they're easier to mug. What are, you, what are you so happy about? Give us, give us your bag. Right, it's a, here it comes. Look, there you go. He's now about to commit a public, public disorder offence. It is a public disorder. Public order offence, okay. But he's also... Public order or disorder. He's now going to do it. And he's done it. And it's, it's now... Luckily, the old Bill, it's home time. They're not going to be pulling him up. For a wee slash a south end for you, isn't it? You sort of, you know, it's almost the expected thing. But it is a bit depressing, yeah. It's a bit depressing. It's a bit depressing. I mean, like South End used to be a hive of activity. And I would say Lou Manzi has left the area. And uh, this generation doesn't have any replacement. Uh, there was a, a bar down the seafront called the Oasis Bar, run by Turkish guys, Zach, and um, Uncle, Uncle Zach, they used to call him, Uncle Zach, and um, that was closed down after they were making too much money without South End Council's involvement. They weren't paying enough to South End Council, obviously, and uh, they got busted one week, busted the next week. And then they continued to get busted until they were no longer uh, able to operate. And that was gone. And one by one by one, they've all been picked off. And um, I can safely say, if you want to come out for a, for a piss up. This is uh, what you can expect. 